Hello everybody. I hope you're good. I know it has been a minute. We are all doing good over here. I just thought I would start off by saying that. October has, it was just a crazy month. The month literally has gone by so fast. In the beginning of the month, Gio had some family members in the hospital. Everything's fine. Everyone's good. But we were kind of like sticking around and helping out with that, checking in with family. And then Gio and I actually just got back from vacation. Once a year or like once every other year, Gio and I like to take a trip like out of the country, just him and I get some alone time, reconnect, just, you know, be, be partners. And Sebastian usually goes to his grandparents' house for that week, so he's kind of on a vacation too. So we just got back from our trip from Belize. Before I get into sharing some content of what we were doing in Belize and what Sebastian was doing at home while we were on vacation, I just wanted to check in, say hello, let you know that we're doing good. Sebastian is doing so, so good. I missed him so much. Every single day on vacation, he's all I could think about. Any excursion or activity or food that we tried, I'm like, oh, Sebastian would love this. I miss him so much. I can't wait to see him. But while we were there, we still enjoyed ourselves on vacation as well, obviously. Um, so Gio and I ended up going to Belize. It was very nice. We were there for like a week, I think. Six nights, seven days. Um, we had a lot of fun times. I have a lot of pictures and videos to share. While we were gone, Sebastian ended up going to like a pumpkin patch and he had all the food with his grandma. Gio's sister came and spent a couple of days with them as well. So Sebastian had a really good time. Quick update on Sebastian, he's doing good. I don't know if I said this in my last video cause I don't even remember what I posted last. Um, Sebastian started an antibiotic for his ears. He seems to be doing okay on it. It's it's clearing up the smell and the discharge coming out from his ears, but we are planning to do surgery in two weeks, two weeks from this Friday to get the tubes, if there are tubes in his ears, they're taking them out. They're gonna see how he does um, getting the tubes taken out, and if he's still having issues, they're gonna put new tubes in. So that's where he's at, don't worry. I'm gonna let you check in with him and say hello before I get into the footage. Um, but I am going to take this video to just kind of give you what the last week looked like. Our vacation and Sebastian's vacation at home with his grandparents. So that's what this video is going to be about. And then hopefully tomorrow or the next day. Seems like lately I'm just letting, I'm letting myself record when I feel up for it. It's hard being on social media sometimes. So if I take a break, I take a break. But just know that if anything were going on, seriously um you guys will probably know about it to everyone who was commenting and asking are we okay where have we been is everything everything okay everything is good i'm just kind of i'm taking my time making videos right now we're just kind of enjoying life and just being home and being healthy and being together so i haven't been making much content but i still plan to continue making content here and there anyway enough talking we're gonna get into a little bit of vacation content and what Sebastian was doing while we were away in Belize. So I hope you enjoy, and don't worry, I'm gonna do just a regular daily vlog, hopefully tomorrow, maybe the next day, maybe Friday, I don't know, we'll see, but we'll check in not about vacation very soon. Thanks for being here, we missed you guys too, and I hope you enjoy this video. Say hello, everybody. Hi. Everybody misses you. I know they do. Look at these cute little Halloween jammies my dad got me. You're so handsome in your jack o' lantern jammies. Hi. Are you going to wave at everybody? Everybody misses you. Hello. No? Say hi, Susie. <laughs> Yeah, who put these? Yeah, are these your favorite or something? Are these your favorite? Are these your favorite? Who put these scary ones? Who put these? Oh, the camera's not focusing. I don't know what's happening. Who put these scary ones? Here it goes. We're just getting ready to share all the vacation oh. footage. Who put these scary ones on you, huh? Ooh. Look at your little jammies. <laughs> they fit you good. Oh my goodness. Zeus, knock it off. Because he sees the neighbor. Walking. walking the dog? Yeah. He's jealous. 
What you think? When huh? we were away on vacation, the neighbors walked Zeus think? every single day, so now he's mad. What the thing? Zeusy, it's not hey. your turn. <laughs> Yell at the dog, say hi. <laughs> Look at how cute you are. Tell him. Yell can, at the dog, say hi. Can you tell Sebastian missed his dad? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> tell the dog, say hi. You miss your daddy. <laughs> Tell the dog. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Tell the dog, say hi. Yell at him. Yell at him. <laughs> Good job, say hi. Hey. <laughs> you want to show everybody what we've been up to this last week? <laughs> you ready? You ready? Say, okay, everybody, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> an airport to the resort or an airplane to the resort I'm running on like no sleep so <laughs> look at this little thing <laughs>
Is that a machete? Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Custom made. Dang. Perfect weight so I can hold. I'm excited. Sebastian. Oh. <laughs> did not see the speed bump that was right in the middle of the road. Uh, Sebastian is currently at the Pumpkin Patch with his grandparents and they're having the time of his life. I'll post some pictures. behind the wheels of steel here. I think we're coming up on the pig we saw earlier. Maybe? Maybe not? Poor baby. There he is. Yuck. Give it. Six out of ten. <laughs> Unfortunately. We'll tell you more about it later. Oh, that's what we flew in on. That kind of scared me. Those. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Morning. How you doing? Oh, okay. That's not. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. He says, nope. No. I'll leave him there. Bye. This is my um, souvenir. I picked it out. Look at these colors. What was your souvenir? You're gonna shock everybody. The what? What'd you buy as a souvenir? When, right now? And your souvenir that you picked out here that we are supposed to do at night, but we oh, are too cigars. tired. <laughs> yeah. Every once in a while when we go on vacation, Gio picks out like the cigars from that island and he is i mean we are not smokers so he just sits there and has the flavor like and then we're done with it it's like a every five year thing we do it it's okay if you can't get it we'll just do it later yeah they're too free yeah
It's so pretty. Okay. They're right there. It's not jerk yet. Oh. I jerk it. I jerk it when I finish when it's almost ready cooking. Oh. You say you want it jerk? Yeah, Let's I, I like it. I like jerk snapper. Let's do it. Yeah, you're gonna love this one. I'm Chef Sean. I saw you on TikTok. You know that? Yeah. You're like TikTok famous. I heard. Thanks. Yeah. I heard from a lot of We're all the way from Chicago when we saw I you. See you on That's what's up. That's what's up. No doubt about it. And God I, is good. You're not the first who tells me that. Yeah. Yeah. So good for you. Thank you, We're excited to try so you it. You're in the right place, that's what you know. This is why I'm on TikTok though. <laughs> Turn the volume up. Mira mi pelo. I didn't nap again. I threw up a hundred times. Um, I didn't let my gamas do any woke. Uh huh. Tell him. Um, he just ate lentejas and. What else did you eat? Ice cream. <laughs> Ice cream. <laughs> Good morning from Costa Rica. <laughs> We're in Belize. We're not in Costa Rica. <laughs> It is probably like, what, 8 o'clock, 8.30? We're gonna get picked up pretty soon. I figured we'd check in on our last meal. Kind of close out the video from Belize here. By the time you guys are seeing this, it's Saturday now. You probably won't be seeing this until like Monday night. But I figured we'll do an outro here. Do you have a favorite thing that we did? 
one. Yeah, I mean, for me, it, it was just the overall experience. It took a little bit of getting into the routine of Belize because the, the, the lifestyle is so different here. Our expectations, never having been here before, our expectations were very different than like reality. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, yeah it was really great. good. Thank you. Thank you so much. So everybody, all the people are very friendly. I will say that. We, I don't think we ran into anybody that was a little bit... No, we did run into one person that was a little bit shady, that trickster that tried oh, to yeah. get us. So we had a guy that... Was was the first very day first here. day. Yeah, he tried to tell us that we couldn't park somewhere because you guys aren't familiar. They don't really have cars here. They have golf carts. The ground transportation is bikes and, and golf, golf carts. carts. Yeah, and then some, some people will have cars, but the majority golf carts. So... We parked, and the guy said that we couldn't park there. Um, and he says, come park over here. So again, when somebody that from a country you never know, obviously you don't want to really believe them. Okay. But we were like, you know what, let's do it. So he parked us like off of this little side street. And then he's like, oh, can you help me? We have these little kids soccer games. Um, buy us some Gatorades. And I'm like, you know what, let's do it. Let's go, let's help him. So we get into the grocery store. This guy, you know, fast talker. You could already tell. He looks a little bit shady, but we're going with the flow. And I ask him, how many Gatorades are you going to get? He says, oh, let's get 12. And I said, okay, how much are they? And because I know, again, we're in Belize, so it's going to be more expensive. So they're $2 a Gatorade. And on top of that, they charge you like a 12, percentage tax. Almost 13% tax. To use a credit or debit card. And I told him, I said, you know, li listen, I want to help you, but I, I can't do 12. I'm not going to pay you basically $30 for you just directing us to where to park uh, our golf yeah. cart. Which, again, maybe that's shame on me. But, again, $30 for them is a lot of money. Yeah. Like, so, under his breath, he says, uh, he basically calls me cheap. And I'm like, whoa, like, what's going on? Are you okay, guys? Yeah, yeah everything's doing great. really Thank good. You. Thank you. Um, so then we were just like, all right this guy is kind of like questionable so he basically walked off super mad and and we just went and did our own thing but other than that guy that's really like the only like mean person i feel we ran into yeah just disrespectful yeah. obviously when he didn't get what he wanted to so and there was actually a lady outside that overheard like the whole thing happen. Oh, yeah. and she's like are you guys okay like is everything fine can i do anything so she was really kind yeah um but it sounds to me like that guy's like the trickster of the area yeah. kind of like the shady guy so like as soon as we walked out of the store and that lady was like are you guys okay we like our suspicions or our feelings were confirmed like okay he just tried to play us basically yeah but other so, than that everybody's been like really really nice and helpful and everybody like smiles and it's so funny because you can i mean i you can just tell that we're like tourists you know like yeah. just by looking at us you can tell and people are just really nice yeah i would say obviously because i like food the food was good once we kind of found out like kind of where to go yeah at first like again i feel like we were getting kind of like uh, misled into just like bigger establishments and Again, I'm sure you guys are maybe familiar. The cost of, of food and transportation and police and just general things are very expensive because everything gets imported. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, food is not cheap. And I don't mind paying for food, but when it's like, good, when it's good quality, when it's, you know, up to our when standard. it's worth it. Yeah. So it took a couple of times of us not liking our food, and then we finally kind of got the lowdown of where yeah. to go. The smaller places that are like kind of dinky and like the mom and pop, yeah, those end up being like the best. They have the best prices and their food is absolutely the best. We did a lot of stuff too while we're here. We went scuba diving two different times. Snorkeling. Oh, snorkeling, not scuba I wish diving. we went scuba diving. We will on our next vacation. Gia wants to get certified, but I'm still trying to figure out if I really want to commit to scuba diving. Being under the water makes me nervous, but. We snorkeled with nurse sharks, and unfortunately we didn't get to see any like sea turtles, but we saw a lot of jellyfish. We saw a couple stingrays. Stingrays. Yeah. There was like an encounter right before we got in the water, right as we oh were getting in the water. Our first time snorkeling in Belize. Yeah. Our instructor tells us after we get out of snorkeling that there was a hammerhead shark that was in the area that ate a stingray. <laughs> 
Like he was right by where all the tourists were swimming with the nurse sharks. The nurse sharks aren't known to be like aggressive towards humans. They're not known to do that. Um, but a hammerhead would. I mean, they'll, you know, if it came down to it, they would. So it's just, we literally got there, got into the water, saw all the sharks. And then at the very end, the, the, uh, the nurse sharks started like circling, just swimming in a circle. And at that point I was like, I'm ready to get out. And we all got out, and then once we got on, back on the boat, the instructor was like, by the way, somebody just reported that there was a hammerhead in the water. Um, it went by really, really fast. I can't, we FaceTime Sebastian like every morning, check in on him, and then throughout the day we kind of like lose Wi Fi and then we call him before bed. But yeah. first couple of days he had a hard time sleeping at Gio's parents' house, just trying to figure out like where he was in a new place. But he got the hang of it and he did good. And I'm sure he's gonna come back like a pound or two heavier because mm. he's been eating so much food over there. So right now, it's like weird that we're leaving, but you kind of get to that point, like toward, you know, towards the end of your vacation where you're like ready to be home, ready to be back on your routine, ready for your normal food. And I am like beyond ready to just kiss the heck out of Sebastian. I literally, I yeah. can't wait to see him. You have to post the, the picture that my mom sent me. Yeah. I'm gonna post, well, this is the end of the video, but. Everything should be included in all of it. All of the videos from the trip. Yeah, we took a lot of like little short clips because yeah. again, we were. I think we were this trip. We were really trying to like live the moment. And, yeah. Like, enjoy it as opposed to document everything. Yeah. So we took a couple little videos. You could include those. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know what they say in Belize, but it was like Viva Belize. With I don't know. I don't know either. But all right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. See you guys. Should we put in the video? Yeah. Yeah. What you else? Telling everyone what you did at Grandma and Grandpa's? Yeah, what else? What'd you do? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Hello? What else should we put in the video, huh? Yeah. What else? <laughs> oh, yeah. What else? What else? Here, let me fix you. Yeah, fix your head. <laughs> what else should we put in the video, huh? You don't know? Yeah. Well, you guys, I think that's going to be it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed our little snippets of vacation. Sebastian's taking a nice little nap over here, and I might join him. I will say it is really, really good to be home. Why, Zussi? Do I hand him? I do hand him? I do hand him? You so good. It's good to be home, huh? <laughs> Alright, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.